Did a lot of good things today. Um, you know, I thought came out today with a good tempo. Um, I felt like that kind of get me online and then settled in. I think around the fourth inning, that's when I really started locating the baseball and uh, really start working with McCann well. You know, going in out up, uh, start pitching well. Uh, didn't have a great cutter today. The slider was a little flat, uh, but my curveball was, and changeup were pretty good. So you know, was able to sequence guys and keep them off balance and uh, you know make pitches when I needed to. You mentioned the tempo. Were at least at the start of the game, were you working quicker than maybe normal, or is that? Yeah, yeah, that was intentional. Um, yeah, I felt good today, um, and so uh, you know, wanted to pick up the tempo a little bit. Uh, thought that would get me locked in. Um, you know, once kind of you get you know, get outside the first couple of innings, you know, you get you get a little t- you know, your fatigue starts setting in a little bit. I feel like that's when I finally caught rhythm. I got into a good slot, good groove, and then was able to, like I said, work with McCann. We were able to sequence guys um, and keep them off balance. So you know, good job with James behind the plate today, and. Um, you know, when I needed to, I needed to execute pitches. I did. Max, I think it was one hit by each team through six innings. When it goes that long, does the intensity ramp up a little bit? And the other pitcher is pitching just as effectively as you are. Yeah, I mean, you're aware of the scoreboard. Um, you know, you're in a nothing, nothing ball game. You know, anything, any little thing can beat you um, in those situations. And for me, I was just focused on trying to keep the ball in the ballpark. Um, you know, I was able to do that today, and you know, unfortunately, they got a couple of infield hits there in the seventh. Um, you know, and that kind of set the stage for them to be able to scratch one across. And um, you know, fortunately enough, I was lim- able to limit damage to one. Uh, but you know, that, that that's what can happen. This is major baseball. Anything can happen any single day, um, and you always got to be pre- prepared for that. Max, you were saying you were feeling good in it, and you picked up the pace in the first and second. But you said you didn't settle into the fourth. So is that? You just not feeling like you're settling into the fourth, or maybe even being hard on yourself. Um, there were in the kind of the second and third innings. I, you know, I just felt like I wasn't throwing. Um, you know, I got you know today my slider was a little flat, and I was trying to figure out why that was, and you know it was just you know you know it's ex- executing it, but then there was pulling it out of the zone at certain times, and so I was trying to figure out. You know, where, where the rhythm was going to be at today. And so, like I said, um, you know, once I caught the rhythm and caught, caught my mechanics and where I needed to be, I felt like I executed a lot better. Um, that being said, not, you know, my slider, uh, I felt like it was a little flat. I, I could, you know, I needed to get a little bit more depth on that. Um, and, but you're always tinkering. You know, you're going through a season. You know, you're dealing with so many different things. You know, you, you're constantly making little changes. And so, uh, even when you have a good outing, you have to make little changes. And when you have a bad outing, you have to make little changes as well. So it never stops. A season high 112 pitches. How are you feeling after that workload? Actually, really good. Uh, you know, I knew physically coming in today. Uh, you know, I had an extra day coming into this that uh, this was a good time to actually push the pitch count. Um, you know, get exposed to something over 100. Uh, you know, if the game unfold that way, I, you know, I, you know, I, I wanted to be in that situation. Uh, it's good for your arm to experience, you know, a high pitch count. Um, it, you, you get more resiliency in your arm. Uh, so then when you do go out there and throw 100 pitches, uh, that it feels a lot easier. So um, that's really one of the biggest benefits I had today is that I was able to get to, a, you know, 112 pitches. And, you know, my arm feels good. So physically. I feel good, um, and that, that allows you to continue to build your stamina and be resilient through the rest of the season. Especially with the, that last inning, those as you got over 100, those being the higher stress pitches, you still stamina was feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you know, bases loaded, no outs, and you know, in them over 100 pitches, I still felt good, and you know, that's a good, um, you know, kind of. You know that that's what I can relate. To, you know, it's a buck, and the rest of the staff is that. Hey, even those situations, I felt good. Um, I felt strong. You know, felt like I could execute pitches in that situation, um, and you know that that goes well going forward. Uh, the fact that I got to that pitch, level of pitch count today, um, you know, physically that sets you up for more things in the future. Max, team, team wise, you've talked a lot about you know, the things that this team needs to do to get to where you want to go. How much looking forward to these next three games against the Dodgers does that matter, or how much is it just kind of? No, it matters. I mean, they have obviously, you know, they've had a great season so far uh, in what they've been able to do. And you know, you you play this game to face the best. Now, obviously, they've been they've been one of the best teams in in, in all of baseball. So, you know, for them to come in town, uh, you want to beat them. Uh, so it's a great op- opportunity for us, a great challenge for us uh, to go out there and face them. You tied Roger Clemens today for most career starts with ten or more strikeouts. Do you allow yourself at this point of your career to kind of? 
appreciate those personal milestones more, knowing that you're at the top of the list with so many all-time greats? Nah, probably in the off-season. Uh, right now, I got my blinders up. I just live start to start. Um, you know, these things are great. Uh, those milestones are great. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I'm more focused on winning with the team. Uh, we got better, bigger, and better things to do. Uh, my accomplishments. Uh, I'll worry about those in the off-season. Keep them scoreless as long as you did, and then to get hurt on a couple of infield hits there. So how frustrating is that? That's just baseball. Uh, you pitch, you pitch in this game long enough. That's going to happen. Uh, that's why you got to constantly be on top of absolutely everything you do, because there's so many little ways that you can get beat um, that are out of your control. So. Um, you know that's why I'm constantly locked in. I, I don't take anything, off, never take my foot off the gas pedal because, you know, you know little things like that uh, can absolutely beat you. And if I give up a, you know, extra base hit, home run, that situation it completely loses the ball game. So, um, you know, fortunate enough, I was able to contain that damage in that situation, uh, just the one run.